my very good friends. Oh, you think back of all the time we've spent together. Remember that time we were in the canoe? Uh, anyway, it's good to be back. Um, I finally have this analog delay at a, at, a, at a place that works well enough for me to use, and I'm pretty happy with it, honestly. It's beautiful, look at it shining. It is running on 12 volts, which is kind of cool. It's nice. That's the only time I've used this enclosure. It's a bear box number two from Small Bear. Pretty fun. I, you know, I drilled it all myself and uh, did the artwork. Yeah, using this different kind of enclosure was kind of fun. I didn't use a kit. I, I ordered everything. Uh, yeah, all the parts I had to source them all myself. Or at least that was that was how I did it. Uh, there's no kit for this. So PCB from Mad Bean. You know, the enclosure from Small Bear. I had to get switches. Maybe I used Love My Switches. I got these special knobs. I got the LEDs and the LED grommet things, uh, you know, the jacks, DC, all the resistors, capacitors, transistors, uh, the X53005 chips, I uh, had to get a compander, ordered that from a guy in San Antonio. This was a really challenging one to build, and I feel lucky that it works, so fucking going with it. <laughs> really only have a usable range on the delay time from about 8 o'clock to 11 o'clock. That's pretty much where everything happens. Um, which is fine. I just, it took me a minute to figure that out. So I think I'm going to change the value on that pot so I have a more fine, bigger, a bigger sweep and more control over what's going on there. I think I can do that. The repeat time works pretty well. And the volume of the repeats seems to work pretty well. Of course, it is analog, so you get a lot of that kind of distortion in the repeats and yeah, I still think there's something not quite right in here, so it's a, I, I it gets really distorted. You hear that kind of chirping, um, like almost like a ring modulator type sound that starts getting added into the repeats. It's kind of an artifact of analog delay, which is cool. I mean, I could buy a perfectly functioning delay for like 25 bucks on, on Amazon, but I wanted to, um, I wanted the challenge of making a pedal all from scratch, essentially, uh, even though I bought all the parts, um, and a true analog delay, bucket brigade delay. So I did it. Here it is. Um. 